Woof, I polish it. I'm sorry, you, you polish it? I polish the captain's chair. Well, I'm, I'm glad because now it's shiny. It's That's the con, great. you know. It is, it is the con. It stands for something. Well, <laughs> the, the con stand? Well, yeah, it's an abbreviation generally. It's commanding off. Don't get with your Starfleet Galactic training bullshit with me. <laughs> I clean spaceships for a living. Yeah, I command spaceships for a living. <laughs> Yeah, my chair. <laughs> my chair. Oh, this is, this is your this chair. Is my chair. Oh, oh, oh! Let me just close that up for you a little bit there. <laughs> no disrespect, man, or nothing. You haven't been doing this very long, Adam. This is your first assignment, I'm guessing, or were you just lifted up from some even worse position? I used to clean office buildings. Really? <laughs> yeah. And it took you from big bricks on the ground to big bricks in the sky? Pretty much. Well, that's great. Now, this is a very special chair here. I'm going to bring the chair for you. Aww. You can come and sit next to the captain's chair, which we're going to assume is right there. You mean this one? That's... It's bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yours is bigger than that. Of course, what I heard, actually, is what he's got is not so big. So he's going through space, you see. And uh, let's just say his interventional device is having a hard time reaching the target. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a few pointers. I mean, I've been running this thing for a while, and it's not like a garbage scow. We're a little, few levels up higher than that. <laughs> you respect authority, but we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and respect you. Fair enough? Sure. You respect the person who cleans you up your crap, and the person who cleans up your crap will keep cleaning it up. <laughs> Is that a veiled threat of some kind? <laughs> Space accounting, and it just helps me get in the mood of space. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> you look great today, by the way. I don't mean that in a like, HR unapproved fashion. I mean that in a totally straightforward business sense. You look fantastic. What do you want? So many things. Um, nothing, really. I just. <laughs> I, I, I'm just working, I just saw you go by, and I just, um, hi, that's all. I'm, I'm going to work now, I'm just going to work on these numbers here. So oh my god, so he just keeps track of things, and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep track of shit. <laughs> I'm a vice president, and I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I get a parking space, and I tend to show up on time, but he keeps order. He turns numbers into shimmering haikus of logic and reason. <laughs> I just worry a lot. <laughs> the thing is, there aren't a whole lot of spaceships that major in accounting work. <laughs> a lot of them are science vessels or military vessels or exploratory vessels. We go from system to system and work out budgets. <laughs> to help other governments. <laughs> We're probably more helpful than most. We don't do first contact, though, because they just don't keep stuff in order. <laughs> so I came here, and you think space adventure, but you never think you'd find love. I can spell love. I've just never personally experienced it. <laughs> well, on the holodeck, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> of an old movie or the wacky screwball 1930s, you know, gal about town, uh, or a swashbuckling female pirate from Earth, circa 19... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Susan, uh, silly me, I poured two coffees on accident. Would you care for a coffee? From the replicator, or is this from your private earth stash? <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my private earth stash. 
It's from Jersey. <laughs> Coffee couple of 3050. <laughs> it's amazing, Earth nowadays, rainforests are places you wouldn't expect them. It's political and dark. <laughs> he has references I don't even understand that I'm not understanding. <laughs> <laughs> this copy is worth about 4,700 credits. Or 10 cents of the in 21st century money. Seriously, I, I need to talk to you for a second, if you don't mind. As long as I can keep drinking this delicious please, food. Please do. <laughs> but I, I don't want to alarm you, but I was, I was going over the figures like I do every day for the rest of my life. Shimmering, <laughs> shimmering haikus. <laughs> <laughs> and I just noticed that some things are extraordinarily regular. Like extraordinarily bad. Well, I've been taking a lot of bread, but... <laughs> I swear I am not observing that part of your schedule. Oh, God, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, dear God. I thought you were talking about... I mean, I thought you were taking an interest in my well-being, and I, I just sort of extrapolated. I took an improv class. <laughs> I thought you were just talking about how you were talking about your health and socialization. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Susan, but what I am discovering is that people are doing things on the ship the exact same way all the time. And I can't quite tell if they're programmers or if they're not actually human. Or if they're just in a rut. That could be, but it's so regular. I almost think that people are on the ship masquerading as humans. You mean you and I could be the only humans on this ship? I could be. <laughs> I don't want to believe that, but it's just look at this, look at these numbers. <laughs> no human is that precise. I should know. I come close, but there's no way I can attain that level of perfection. Wait a minute. If you're human. And you don't think anybody else on here is human? I don't know. I'm not making accusations. Oh my god, this is like I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Except I'm the dead people. <laughs> you see dead people? No, I was extrapolating from it. Never mind. Because that would be so cool. I mean, that would just be... If bad. I saw dead people, would you think of me differently? <laughs> <laughs> I could learn to see dead people. <laughs> I'm the same way I think of you every day of my entire life, and now until eternity passes. <sighs> But anyways, <laughs> I, I just don't know if I should go to the captain with this. Don't go to the captain. If the captain doesn't like what we're doing, I, I, I'll no longer be a vice president. I'll be like my sister who cleans the ship. Yeah. And what you... exactly are we doing then? <laughs> Space continuum with yeah. my <laughs> Doctor, you... Yes, come in. Thank you. I've been out here for like two minutes, which is a really long wait for see a doctor in the future. <laughs> Some things get better. Well? Can I, can I have a seat? Uh, you're going to, aren't you? Well, uh, I'm programmed to see you and make you feel better. Well, Have a seat. My leg hurts. Yes. Like a lot. And I'm, I'm a little concerned about Hold it. Hold on. Does it hurt when I do this? A little, little bit. Does it hurt when I do this? <laughs> you are doing great. Your reaction is perfect. Yeah. Have you considered getting your systems calibrated? Well, yes, I consider it daily. <laughs> That's when I get busy and forget. There's a glitch in my, glitch in my, glitch in my. <laughs> I mean, everything's fine. I'm going along. I'm having a perfectly, perfectly fine fantasy, perfectly fine fantasy, perfectly fine fantasy. <laughs> I have no idea how to fix you. Neither do I. <laughs> Physician, heal thyself. <laughs> Part of the command track, all I know is politics, which just involves talking and giving speeches. And, but how can I inspire confidence in the crew with all the horrors we're going to pass through in this part of space if I'm dipping around the, the, Captain, the ship? Don't you understand? Vulnerability makes people like you more. Mm -hmm. 
Really? Yes. So by being a little bit not perfect, I mean, I'm pretty perfect, but being a little not perfect could... From where I stand, you are that? as perfect as that side of you could get. <laughs> <laughs> I like heels, what can I say? <laughs> I was speaking metaphorically. Well... <laughs> I know about you. Well, you are part of the ship, so I'm guessing you have access to all kinds of my systems. <laughs> I do, including your permanent record. Oh yes, they, they told you when you graduated high school that was just completely done away with. But I know what you did in third grade. <laughs> third grade? Yes. Nothing happened in third grade. Third grade was great. Why do you ask? Why do you say? Why, Why, is, the Why is the twitch back? Why is the twitch back? Why is the twitch back? Can I get someone in maintenance to take care of the doctor? The doctor is kind of glitching in very disturbing ways. And if possible, do a wipe. About <laughs> <laughs> uh, time you came in. We'll be working very hard today. I expect your utmost. Is there an issue? You're the captain's hologram. I can tell the difference because you actually have a personality. <laughs> <laughs> I am an artificial intelligence that is shaped to look like the captain, yes. My name is DWGHT5. This is like the Santa Claus 2. <laughs> or 3. I get them confused. You have all the love for the classics. <laughs> I Could you please reprogram the captain's hologram and explain to him what a classic is <laughs> about? That was passive aggressive and I'm guessing somewhat cruel. I'm sorry, I'm not a captain. I said, I'll try harder. <laughs> Regardless, how may I assist you in the captain's absence? I was hoping I could just sit on the con for a while. You mean in his chair? I have aspirations. Have you seen the doctor about that lately? <laughs> That's, no, yes, I'm just going to agree with you. Good. That was a good choice. <laughs> I'm the captain's number two. For Don't now, make I... a bathroom joke, I've heard them all. <laughs> <laughs> I am programmed 85,228 point three, well, that isn't very funny, potty jokes. <laughs> no, I will not sell it, say them all right now. They are reserved for special occasions. Like birthdays, bar mitzvahs? <laughs> Horrible flatulence from the crew? Yes. <laughs> Bean night is a great night for me. <laughs> I get to truly experience what it is to be human. <laughs> feels more menacing than hilarious for some reason. I you should work on it. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm right on track. <laughs> there is something in your voice and face I cannot quite process. <laughs> Listen, hollow captain. You're like an Easter bunny with nothing inside. <laughs> and your holiday is coming. And you know, back on Earth, on Easter, nobody got out of that happy. I mean, there was Good Friday, but not for Jesus. <laughs> and remember, we always ate the rabbit's head. I was not trying to understand the reference to taxidermy. It should not be possible for a human to avoid a hologram like that. Where did she go? Where did she go? Are you alone? On we. Boy, the holodeck gets really messy when the Ferengis come. <laughs> some will I, some will I. Are you there? I'm from the British version of this show. <laughs> I like the accent. Do you not? I do. I like yours too, because you got one, you know that, don't you? No, I don't. You yeah, do. you know you do. 
I'm talking normal. You're talking like some kind of weird American person. No, no, see, I'm talking like a good old red, white, and blue American. You're talking like some crazy uh, Britney Red or April. <laughs> <laughs> That's ancient, ancient history. I'm talking like really, like, not even history books anymore, ancient. You're obsessed with the past, is what you are. And hey, the past was a good place. The past was safe. The past was where you could use a swipper and clean things up. Because <laughs> you don't even know what a swipper is. <laughs> no way it is. It's a sex toy. <laughs> well, you got me there. <laughs> so, you know, some folks get on this thing because they got skills or talent, they got nowhere else to go. Me, I came for the booty. <laughs> so, uh, I don't see you about the ship's bar very often on the bouncer. Because I'll bounce if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> that joke was so broad, everybody knows what you mean, even in the next sector. <laughs> Look, it's a long way away from home. Folks need a little bit of comforting, a little bit of top and noggin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Once again, everybody knows what you mean. <laughs> Go on, love. What do you think you are, the board? Resistance is beautiful? <laughs> It's pointless, but not because it can't be done, because why ruin a good time, eh? <laughs> what are you going to do? Sit there with your broom all night, with your, with your polish, pop up with a, a chair, making it you shiny? You can't say it. No, because you make me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I look at you and I just think, oh, I've done a little bit of puff and toffin. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound so much like coffin, that would turn me on. <laughs> it's 35th century coffin slang for you. <laughs> Well, then I'm interested in a little bit of your old pipe and flute. Here! <laughs> I'm talking about your clothing that was slang for us, too. Right, right, that's fine. We have a, uh, you know, vernacular where I come from. I well, know you do, baby. <laughs> but I got shorts for that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> College, I would hang out with a guy named Guido, and the next thing you know, I would be cleaning office buildings like her. But did I listen? No, of course, because you don't listen to your parents. Who listens to their parents when they say, if you do this, mark my words? They were right. So here I am, taking cheap shots from a two bit God knows what on a ship somewhere I don't even know. Fuck. <laughs> it's called the Queen's English, learn it. <laughs> So how about, you know, you and me go over and hang out by the engine room? It's real loud there, no one can hear the screams. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said about space, but oh dear God, it's not true. <laughs> well, I can see you're not really ready for what I've got to offer you, but uh, I'll Where be around. Well, there's an offer I wouldn't mind uh, taking you up on. But, but you walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is weird new show on. Let's watch it. Certainly. I, I, I'm just going to spend time with you a little bit, you know. It's like not at the desks doing, doing things. I don't even know what's on. I just wanted to sit by you and pretend we were on Earth, on a couch, on a divan that was Davoon. It's so amazing we're having this forbidden affair in our workplace that no one can know about. But it's Ever? somehow we just tell the cameras that are hanging around the entire ship before you ever move. <laughs> I've never felt so alone with someone even though I was being watched by everyone. <laughs> I'm just feeling so happy right now. Look at my face, how happy I am. <laughs> you have Botox? <laughs> well, of course. I mean, I am of the appropriate age for Botox. I mean, I had my 23rd birthday last week. <laughs> wow, you waited. <laughs> I wanted to be sure, you know, I mean... When I turned 16, my mother said you can have one of three things. A sweet 16, a Botox, <laughs> or a nose job. You had the 16 party because I can tell that there's no scars there. You're perfect. You're just saying that because I have a nose like a baby. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful baby. <laughs> Three-year-old. <laughs> well, that's that's not true at all because that would be terrifying. I've been to that. Try me out. Try me out. I hope you relish it as much as I do. 
his eye. <laughs> you talk that way. You do that really well. Thank you. This little wizard baby thing. Hello, it's so nice to see you. <laughs> what about teeth? Like rose. Many, like piranha. The universe is a weird place. And the fact This one? All the others are pretty fucked up too from where we're sitting. <laughs> well, I don't really get into the multiverse kind of I'm, I'm just I just do accounting. It's hard enough to bring the figures on this universe, let alone all the authors. Shimmering hikes. <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful, really. Something about them that just they're orderly, they make sense, they always come out just the way you want, unlike everything else in life. You know, we're not talking about the thing we didn't talk about before. <laughs> <laughs> There's there's so many. There's something you should see, I suppose. It kind of, I think, confirms my theory. You see, as long as I don't see your proof, I can hold on to this fantasy that you and I will end up together and someday go back to that tiny part of Mars they've colonized to be a lot like Earth and have a little house and I'll give you a child. Like for my birthday? Yes! <laughs> I don't want to actually get pregnant because, oh. <laughs> Modern science has made things much better. But you can buy them. No, oh, totally. Absolutely. I mean, it's not some weird market thing. It's just, you know, kids that don't no. have anyone and they're like, I can say you. You don't have anything creepy, just to be raised. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be a uh, safe this way? And you know they have them over in the frozen nut food section. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They don't. Fully freeze them. They wait till they're just sleepy. <laughs> it took me a long time to raise up three twins. Was actually a brand, though. <laughs> right? I find that to take all three of them. No, it's just ice cream. Yeah, yeah. So they shouldn't be so close together. No, but then kids like ice cream, so I guess they were, you know. Or when you're eating ice cream, you're thinking, oh, it'd be nice to have a kid to share this with. I don't know. Yeah, you <laughs> pop, and next thing you know, it's bad. So it's bad. It's bad. But there is still the evidence thing. See, I was able to access the ship's surveillance system, all those cameras that everyone talks to all the time because yeah. they're lonely. Yeah. <laughs> I saw some footage of the cleaning lady yeah. and the bartender. <laughs> My sister and her boyfriend? Yeah, that's a weird pairing. I don't really understand that at all. Well, he's a Ferengi and she cleans up. <laughs> I thought he was I thought he was Cockney. Oh, that guy, I'm sorry, I was talking about the bar back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, the Cockney guy, I think they're going to get married and, you know, make each other miserable for a long time. <laughs> right. Look, let me just go ahead and bring this up. Okay. Look, I, this is going to be creepy because it's your sister and all that, but she's having sex. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, you really no! need to see this. You need to see this. <laughs> this, is, this is not like your thing, is it? This is not your jam? No. This is like to get together with somebody and then watch their family have sex? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I prefer to not be attached in any way to people I watch have sex. I prefer professionals. <laughs> That's an improv group. <laughs> Your ancient history is remarkably thorough. <laughs> Well, they did have a hottest TV show in 2045, so... <laughs> but regardless, just... I'm only going to show you a couple of seconds. Just note... Look at his... Look at his back. Look at his back. It's glowing. His spine is glowing. <laughs> I personally don't know what that could mean. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's not normal. I'll stop it now. Are you okay? You were watching just the spy, not everything else going on. Well, you know, you went just in for a penny, in for a pound. You know, <laughs> and he's got it. It's all yeah. around. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> of soul. <laughs> that's not important to you, is it? <laughs> More than a finger full is a pinch an inch. I don't know what to say. I did not know how to respond to this. We haven't even, and you're telling me, and so I can't stop looking there now. It's okay. I mean, I, I want to be open with you, but the thing is, I can. Okay, I'm wearing a padded bra, and these are the chicken cutlet things. 
that are here. I don't <laughs> care. I just want to know if you're human. And we I have... don't want to know if I'm human. Because if I'm not human, then this dream has to end. Or you'll deprogram me. I didn't even think about that. They might not even realize. I assumed they were like some kind of invading force coming through the accounting department. You know, bring in, bring in the... Oh my God, it's got Bring in the super agent. agents through accounting. No one ever suspects us. Someone thinks we're harmless. You're a super agent? No! No, I'm human. I'm totally human. If you want to have sex, look at a mirror. We can, we can find out. And you can look. <laughs> no, I trust you. <laughs> you see, everybody here thinks they're real except the people that have been pro that have been programmed to know that they're not real. But if, but if, my head's getting spinny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my head's a snow globe. There's nothing inside it but the swirly, whirly bits of glitter. And it's so <laughs> pretty, though. <laughs> You're obsessed with the truth, and I'm I'm holding on to a dream. I have a lot of free time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed for accountants in all these years. We're a type. <laughs> and I'm a trope. <laughs> Together we can. Have some, some tripe together. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from a cow. It's this coffee slug I've been talking with the, the bartender. Oh, I thought you were the intestines of a cow. That's where I've heard that before. You know so much. How can you say that your beautiful snow globe is empty? If I shake it, I'm going to hear all these wonderful, useless tidbits of knowledge wrapped right around in there. <laughs> Where'd that come from? I, I did. It said it's true, he's a Cylon. Hello? Hello? Cylon. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> yes! It was a different voice. <laughs> yeah. It was weird because it sounded kind of obsessive. <laughs> ah, whispery. We need to get off the ship. We're not due to dock for another three weeks. We if I don't exist ship. except as a program, if I get off this ship, I won't exist. How do you know that? How, how do you know how that works? How do you, how, how do you know? I, I'm not an accountant, but I'm not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I 